Hello friends, I am here with another interesting and important tutorial that is Pen Tool. With this tool you can create custom shapes as well as you can trace the raster image and convert it to vector image. But before I begin, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications of my channel updates. So let's get started. Go to the tool palette and select Pen Tool. If you right click on the Pen Tool, you will see few extra tools like Add Anchor Point Tool, Delete Anchor Point Tool and Anchor Point Tool. Now, let's select the Pen Tool and try to create a shape with it. You will see that my cursor changes to Pen Icon which makes us easy to draw. But if the Pen Icon is not visible on the cursor, you need to check Caps Lock on the keyboard. If it's on, then you need to make it off. Now you can see Pen Icon appears on the cursor. Click to create an Anchor Point. Now take the cursor to another position and click to create another anchor point. Notice there is a line between two anchor points and this line is called path. Now I take the cursor to some other point and click. Again the line is being connected to the next anchor points. Likewise I keep on clicking and close the shape by clicking on the first anchor point. Now my path is closed. With the help of direct selection tool I can move individual anchor points to modify the shape. You can also click on the curve point and make the corner smooth. Let's undo this. Suppose I need an anchor point to this path. Go to the tool palette and right click on the pen tool and select add anchor point tool. Click on the path. You will notice that the anchor has been added. Using direct selection tool, you can move the anchor point to see the changes. And if you want to delete the anchor point that you have created, go to tool palette. Right click on the pen tool and select delete anchor point tool. Bring the cursor over the anchor point and click. Here you go, it's gone. I just rearranged the shape once again. Now I need to give curve to the anchor point so that I can get a curved path. For this, you need to again right click on the pen tool and select anchor point tool. Bring the cursor over the anchor point, click and drag the mouse. The path gets curved shape along with the side handles. You can also drag the handle to modify the curves. You can do to the other anchor points as well. You should remember that while making curves, the parts should not overlap each other like this. In this case, you can drag the side handle and get rid of the overlapping areas. If you want to remove the curves from the anchor points, you just need to take the same anchor point tool and click on the anchor points to remove the curves. Now I just create a curve on this top anchor point using anchor point tool to get a fine round like shape. Again I create a curve to this anchor point to make a smooth curve like this. Now I need to create a duplicate of this shape on the other side. So I just right click on the shape, go to transform and select reflect. In the reflect panel window, you can see horizontal, vertical options of the axis. Select vertical axis and click on the copy button. Now drag the shape to the other side. You can see that an interesting shape is created. Ok, now I select and delete these. Now I am going to create a shape and directly give curve to the anchor points from the pen tool and not using anchor point tool. For this, you need to click to create anchor point and move the cursor to the another point and now click and drag the mouse at the same time. And when you get the desired curve, then you release the mouse. You will also notice the next part which is attached to the cursor is also curved. I again click and drag to create another point. But this time I want to create a curve inside. But you notice that my next part curve is outwards because of this right curve handle. So to get rid of the curve, just click on the anchor point. The path now becomes straight. Now I can click and drag the mouse and create the curve inwards like this. 
you will notice that the next part is also curved. So to get rid of the curved part, just click on the anchor point. Here you go. Now click and drag to create another curved path. Click on the anchor point and then create another curved path. That means every time you need to click on the anchor point to get straight path. Now you see a unique shape is being created. To make a duplicate of this shape, just right click and go to the transform option and select reflect. In reflect panel window, I select vertical axis and click on the copy button. Just drag the shape like this. Select both the shapes, fill it with any color. Here you go. Okay, now I select and delete these. Now let's make a heart shape using the same technique of paint tool. Click and drag. And once you get a desired curve, release the mouse. But this time, I am not going to delete the curve handle because I want my next part to be curved outwards and not inwards. Go to the next position, click and drag. And once you get a desired curve, release the mouse. Color is automatically being filled which might distract you while making complex shapes. So in this case, you just need to click on this icon in the tool palette. This will remove the color from the shape. Now I select stroke palette and click on the fill icon. Now you will notice that the stroke has been applied to the shape. Now this time I need to remove curve from the next path. So click on the anchor point. Go to the next position, click and drag, release the mouse and close the shape by clicking on the first anchor point. With the help of direct selection tool, I need to fix the curves by dragging curve handles and anchor points. No matter how much you try to get a perfect shape, it will consume time and may not be 100% perfect. So let's delete this and try to make a perfect shape. Let's make a shape of the heart like I did previously but this time I'm not going to create a full heart shape but just half. This time you need to press escape button on your keyboard to get rid of the part from your cursor. This is known as open shape and not closed shape. Now I select the shape, right click, go to transform option and select reflect. In the reflect panel, select vertical axis and click on the copy button. Drag the duplicate shape just beside the original shape. Now you will get to see perfect hard shape, but this hard consists of two different shapes. Now I'm going to combine these two different shapes to one complete shape. With the help of direct selection tool, select the top two anchor points like this. Zoom the area using Ctrl and plus key on your keyboard. This is how you select both anchor points using direct selection tool. Right click on the anchor point and select average. In the average panel window, you will see horizontal, vertical and both options of the axis. Select both and click OK you will see that both anchor points are combined together. But this is not 100% done yet. Again right click on the anchor point and select join. Done. Similarly, select the bottom anchor points using direct selection tool. Zoom it. Right click on the anchor point and select average. In the average panel window, select both options and click OK. Again right click on the anchor points and select join. Now you zoom out using Ctrl and minus key on your keyboard. Now both the shapes are being converted into one single shape and looks a perfect heart shape. You can now add fill and stroke color to the shape. I just make a copy of it by pressing Alt key and with the selection tool, I dragged it out and reduce its size by pressing Shift and Alt keys. Here you go, a heart shape design for your loved ones. Let's get rid of this too. Now I'm going to trace an image that is logo using pen tool. For the image, we need to browse and search for logo. For now, I search for a Batman logo. I just right click on any one of the thumbnail and select copy image. 
open Illustrator and paste it using Ctrl V, which is a keyboard shortcut. Let's scale the image using Shift and Alt keys. While I try to zoom the image, you will notice that the image pixelates because images that we download or we click are all raster images. Now I need to trace this image and convert it to vector for better quality. So whenever you try to trace any images or logo, it's better to lock the image because when you're tracing, by mistake images gets moved, then you will have a hard time. So go to the object menu, select lock and click selection. The keyboard shortcut is Control 2. Now using pen tool, let's trace the image. Now you will see the color starts filling automatically, which might create difficulty in tracing. So hide the color and fill the stroke with color. Now let's continue tracing. One more thing, this time I clicked and dragged the mouse and without making a perfect curve, I released the mouse. Now how to manage the curve? You just need to press Ctrl key on your keyboard and you will see a cursor changes to Direct Selection Tool. Now you can drag the curve handle to make a perfect curve. After you are done, release Ctrl key. This time also I do the same thing with the help of Ctrl key. I can further adjust the curve. I am not going to trace the whole shape. Just press escape key on your keyboard to remove path from the cursor. Go to object menu and click on unlock all to unlock the image. Delete the image. Select the shape, right click and go to transform and select reflect. In reflect panel window, select vertical axis and click on the copy button. Now drag the copied shape to the other side like this. Since these are two different shapes, now I need to make it to one complete shape. Select these two anchor points using Direct Selection tool. Right click and select Average. In Average panel window, select both options and click OK. Again right click and select Join. Do the same thing to the bottom anchor points. Now your vector logo of a Batman is ready. Now you can fill this with any colors of your choice and don't forget to remove the stroke. I zoom the shape and you see the shape is sharp and crisp because it's a vector shape. In Google, let's browse for the logo. I found one interesting shape of a bird. If I click on the thumbnail, you will see the image is of high quality. But I need a low resolution image to trace. So I just right click the thumbnail and copy the image. Open Illustrator and paste it. Lock the image. Go to Object menu, select Lock and click on Selection. Now let's zoom and trace the image. Once it's done, let's unlock the image and remove it. Now fill the shape with any color and remove the stroke. Now one more thing is left that is eyes. I am going to create the eyes with ellipse tool. Pressing shift and all keys, click and drag to create a small circle. Another interesting vector shape is ready. 
Now let's do the last tracing of a Twitter logo. Let's find for a Twitter logo. Copy the first thumbnail and paste it to the Illustrator document. Let's lock this too. Zoom a bit and have a fun time tracing the image. Once it's done, drag the shape at the side. Now I need to fill the same blue color from the Twitter logo to the shape. Click on the solid fill palette and select eyedropper tool from the tool palette. Bring the cursor over the blue color and click. The function of eyedropper tool is to pick the color from the image and place it in the vector shape. Now you can unlock the image and delete it. Vector shape of a Twitter logo is ready. In today's tutorial, I tried my best to teach you about the pen tool in detail. Do practice to master the art of converting any raster images to vector. Bye for now and I'll be back with some interesting videos.